This is a safe move here. So long as I hit. Oh, you f it, really? You gonna, you gonna do me like that, buddy? Hey, it's me, Marky Joe, here to entertain you. Hello everyone, Marky Joe 1990 here, and my gosh, has it been a while, hasn't it? Um, so this is a patron request by Zenith, and it's a hack that I think he made with Pontagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's just get right into this, shall we? All right, that's the sound room. Let's just do no, new story. This is looking very impressive right off the bat, like in terms of like the graphics and stuff, but my my little policy is to always be skeptical of good graphics because sometimes they make the graphics look good, but then they forget about making everything else good. Years past since our hero has made his name in Magval, now he seeks to find his true purpose. Deciding to explore previously uncharted territory, our hot hero hires a boat and sets out on an expedition which to change everything as he knows it. All right, did I drop any frames? No, I haven't. Ooh, good old Zelda music. And well, I've been on this voyage for over a week now. I wonder how far I've sailed. Thinking about it, I haven't seen any land in a fair while. Maybe you're just stuck forever. I should arrive in a few more days. Mark flails and does good commentary, TM. I, I guess, kind of. I mean, here's the hope and my food supply will only last me another week. Are you just like the only guy on this boat? This is a big ass boat for one person. So I guess you do need a fairly big boat to have all the food supplies, cause, but you also need it for shit too. I, I'm thinking way too deeply into this. Anyone else? Yeah, you don't have anyone else to talk to? You're literally the only person on this big ass boat. I can't see a thing. He said left it in my bag, so need to feel around. There it is. Best to take it outside so I can actually see what it is. And it's Mark's precious. No, it's not. Oh, an ocean seal. Where do you get this? With this, I can. All right, I guess she's promoted now. Uh, so much for the build up. When doesn't Mark think too deep? <laughs> That's true. It's actually a ghost ship, la la la. Swimming should be much easier now. Oh, so is the goal to like jump off the boat and swim to shore? Best man the wheel, that's what captains do, right? Yeah, like, what have you been doing this whole time? Just fucking around? Up two hours later, it's dark. That's not a good thing. It's getting dark now. Then, okay, best prepare for the ship for the night. Yeah, is it even safe to really, like, sleep while you're the only person on the boat? Like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, what if you get sent offshore or something? I guess he's not sleeping, so there's that. Oh, he is sleeping. All right, so he's sleeping on an unmanned ship. Got it. Sounds like a storm. Uh, this song. This is from Ocarina of Time, this song. It's when the castle's crumbling. It's a really heavy storm. Yeah, it just assails this so the ship doesn't, okay. Gotcha. And now onto the second one. Good. Just a bit more. He's, he's gonna fall offshore. All right. When is wind ever that strong? Let's be real. Well, glad. Good thing he. Uh, <laughs> good thing he promoted, cause now he can swim. Everything's so cold. All right. Yep. So he just kind of falls over shore. Okay, so I just want to point something out right now. In games like King's Quest VI, there is a dude who's who's like heading on a journey and shit, but he does have other crew members and shit, like to help him get to the place he wants to be. So that it seems like it was kind of a dumb idea for Zenith to go entirely by himself, you know? I mean, what did you expect? was gonna happen, Zenith. Where, did you really think you were gonna survive like a, a two week long journey manning a ship by yourself? Oh damn, she's cute. Uh, is that uh, Tusaka Rin from the, I think it's the Tsukihime series? 
I wonder how he resisted in such a long ship by himself. I'm surprised he didn't grab onto something sooner. I mean, they be, there's a reason why there's railing on the ship too. Like you could just grab onto it, but I guess the implication is that it like the, the sides of the ship broke. So he fell over the railing. Here before me today. Who are you? Where are we? I am the taker of once mortal souls. I'm dead. Wait, so she takes the form of that which you desire. So I guess Zenith has a crush on uh, Tusaka Rin. Uh, what series is that? Tsukihime? Well, you might know it by the fighting game series Melty Blood. It's the game with uh, Shiki Tono, Akiha Tono, uh, Arcuid, whatever the fuck you pronounce her name. It's the vampire place, the vampire visual novel. That storm, my ship, my friends. What will happen to me? Fear not, oh hero. I have seen your past and your future, yet your fate does not lead you to me. Why not? I mean, he did a stupid. Their lives set out. Uh, Alright, so his whole destiny is just like set before him. So you're telling me everything I've been through, someone else decided to happen? Not exactly. Others are made. The events that led you to me were meant for someone else. However, by some turn of nature, you have crossed destinies with someone or something else. By getting killed, obviously, you know? Uh, I have seen, well, she's gonna set you back to life. You're gonna wake up on an island. Wait, granting you a second chance? Here's my question, all right? So she's talking about this fate and, and all that bullshit. And it's just like, she's giving him a second chance. So what happens? If he dies like over and over again, does she just keep giving him multiple chances? Because he needs to fulfill his destiny? Why even mention the whole second thing any second chance thing anyway? Just be like, yeah, I'm gonna send you back and uh, don't worry about dying because you have to fulfill your fate. Altering the flow of time. However, I know it will. All okay, so she's saying it's risky to alter the flow of time. So maybe giving him a second chance is like she can't. She has like a limited amount of chances she can give him. But she knows his future though. So she knows it'll pay off. So, so it's not really a risk because she knows his future. I'm so fucking confused already. Who is us? This is it. take this ring. I want you to marry me. You know, I'm I'm the Grim Reaper and all that shit. But just take this ring. You're really cute and stuff. Very well. All right, well, I guess I'm living again. Goddess ring, oh man. I'm back. My body feels so stiff though. What on earth just happened? Uh, well, uh, it's possible. Well, when you die, uh, you sometimes go through a process called rigor mortis. Uh, but if that actually happened, then that means that your body might have decayed to the point where like the blood stops flowing. Which means at that point, like when you wake up, uh, your blood would be fucking clogged to shit, I guess. I, I don't know how rigor mortis actually works, so I could be completely out of line here, but that means that she probably like restored your blood flow. So I guess you would be stiff for a bit as it like returns. Well, I guess that's what it feels like to die. Yeah, you get to see hot waifus. Village, maybe someone can help me there. The destroyed village? Been here for years. You always think too much about stuff and read and do the prologue. Stop and read and do the pro- Dude, I'm gonna think about every single thing, dude. That's part of what makes the commentary interesting. I gotta, I gotta do that shit, you know? Uh, pick a direction and stick with it. Going straight into the forest doesn't sound terribly smart. I'll try the other way. Uh oh, all right, bad guys. And Griffin Riders, which are in SRPG Studio. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? Look at my big ass chest. 
I got big tit. Wow, does he have big boobs? It kind of looks like he does, but I think he just has a, like a very strong chest. So, uh, never mind. Making those weird lights. We don't take too kindly to weird magic around here. I think you've got the wrong person. Sure look funny. Purple clothes? Purple clothes? Is that really the... Like, you're only slightly... Like, you have a purple headband, you fuckwit! You have a goddamn purple headband! I just realized that! I mean, and your shirt's not that far from purple either, you know? It's like, is it really that much of a stretch to be like... I don't fucking know, I'm just... What's the deal with you? Uh, come on, out with it. What are you doing? Where it sure isn't weird where I'm from. I guess he's got head, head... I guess he's got his head on the clouds, you know? I asked you a question. Answer before this gets ugly. Oh, really? I don't think you're in any position. What? Really? That's what you're gonna do? You gotta be, you gotta challenge three people to a fight by yourself? Do you know who I am? Okay, so I guess he's arrogant maybe? Or maybe he has a reason to think he's super strong? I have no content, because there are other games like uh, related to this cannon that Zenith made. Like there's Rart Emblem and Rart Emblem ha Halloween. So maybe Zenith is established as like a super strong dude or something. I don't have the context though. Or you'll what? You're coming to the brink. Bring it. All right, well, I guess I'm... All right. Where did that ax come from? Uh, <laughs> it's a little thing called looking at his hands, Zenith! Or whatever the heck your name is. I don't know your name actually now that I think about it. <clears throat> yeah, why the fuck did you challenge this guy to a fight when you're unarmed and also your body is stiff? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why don't you just finish him off? All right, well, you could have just explained yourself and everything and maybe things wouldn't have gotten like that. Maybe you could have just surrendered and been like, yeah, I come in peace. Uh, I'm the dude or whatever. Of course, again, I don't have context, but this game doesn't make any effort to establish the context either. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just really confused, I guess. Yeah, like, dude, he's not exactly whom I, I'd consider a smart protagonist. Guess that's why you shouldn't challenge people just after your body has been. Yeah, are you fucking kidding me? He's even aware that he's he, that he did the stupid thing and he did it anyway. <laughs> Damn, dude, the fucking leaps. Uh, an arena? Yeah, you seem like quite the fi fighter on on account of the fact that you took one fucking axe strike to the shoulder. You know, that that's how we know we're, you're a fucking champ. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Oh yeah, you could have just said that earlier and then He's slowly getting smarted. Most of his neurons must have still been frozen. It's pot. Look, I just want to preface this by saying that it's very possible that I am being way too critical of the story right now. And maybe it'll get, maybe I'm just missing stuff for stuff. That's the thing with commentary is that sometimes you miss things. So I, I don't want to like, like, I don't want to make it seem like this is a bad story just because like, it's very possible that I'm just not paying good enough attention or else you'll be in for a long time. So if I win, are you gonna let me go? You'll be lucky. Only people to get out of here are the ones too dead to fight. That's what makes the place so brutal. Uh, can I back out? No, of course not. Why the fuck would, I mean, it, uh, whatever. I guess he had to say it anyway. Must be quite the city to have this kind of audience. Stand up to the beast, spot of the beast. Who's this little runt? Oh, you might have heard me from, you look weak, that's all that matters. I'm one of the brothers filler. You'll fall like all the others. One of the brothers, eh? You must be like him. 
got a big mouth come at me tough guy they may have given me some terrible equipment and i may have completely fucked myself over in this situation but i'm still gonna kick your ass you know you super armored fucking tough ass looking motherfucker while whilst i'm showing my pretty ass bishonen face <laughs> all right well i guess he just won so much for the beast incredible our challenger to in one strike unbelievable yeah what the fuck one strike he was super he was armored all over the fucking place can i go now no you gotta do round two one of the most amazing spectacles they've ever seen all right guys i want you to picture something imagine that you're like the king you're on a throne and you're watching an arena what uh, and shit and then like the fight starts and then it just ends right away in a single blow do you honestly think that would be fucking uh, do you honestly think you'd describe it as one of the most amazing spectacles you've ever seen you'd probably just be like oh Oh, it's over. All right, I guess. Guess I'm going home. Hang on, you can't just keep me here. I have things to do. Not anymore, you don't. I, yeah, he did one shot the guy, but that's not exactly what I'd call a spectacle, you know? Cause let, let's think for a sec. This guy is probably armed with like basic equipment. Like he even mentioned that his equipment sucks. So he probably has like a basic ass iron sword or an ax or whatever and then he just kills this guy in one hit And it's like yeah, that's impressive in terms of like a feat of strength, but it's not a spectacle Your new life kid Can't do this to me next time i'm out of here. You're going to pay Don't you even dare resist keep that attitude up and you won't get fed But if he doesn't get fed then he won't be a good gladiator all right well good luck fighting on an empty stomach all right though to be fair i don't think that i think i'm out of line there like i guess they would it would make sense to not feed him it like it's not like they care about him specifically escape plan uh oh yeah it's been 15 minutes uh, 17 minutes since uh we actually played the game so then I said to him, why do you even bother? The kid will just knock him out. LOL, so funny. Is that supposed to be Vandal Swiftblade? When's the next fight? I've been itching to see this new opponent they, they got challenged me with. They'll be arriving imminently. I hear there's some warrior noble from another land. Crazy, right? They're said to be one of the strongest combatants alive because they killed one guy in one hit. Interesting. Ugh. Metal Gear. Oh damn, she's cute. Welcome to our new home, Lassie. Though I will say, it's gotta be hard to fight with when your bangs are covering your fucking face like that. Just what a kind of prison I'm not fighting for you. We'll see about that one when people try and resist. Yeah! Please don't hurt me, no! All right, well, guess that works out. Scared of Mark, I started to kind of like him. Need to find a way out of this place. You're in or what? All right. Sit tight here and you look like you've been stuck here for ages. You can't seriously want to stay here. They've been making you f Oh, wait a minute. I see now that is Zenith. I thought it was Vandal Swiftblade for some reason, but I guess that, I guess there was a time skip. They call me the strongest gladiator in the country. So strong that he wasn't able to break through the guards and shit, but this bitch could. Wow. Our hero, the strongest in the world. Probably going to be your only opportunity, so now that, that makes sense. I've been meaning to work out a plan, but there's no time for thinking about a plan. We have to move or else we'll be captured again. From these pussy ass guards? Follow me. Oh, we're gonna have the capture mechanic, probably? That'd be interesting. From what I remember, the main exit is to the north. I wouldn't be surprised if they send some of their troops to block it off. All right, so reinforcements. Fair enough. That's a big-ass map. 
You've got to be kidding. What sort of fighter are you? Trust me, you wouldn't even believe the places I've been. The places I've been, such as not out of this prison for the last few weeks, in spite of the fact that these guards are pussies and I'm super strong, apparently. Until we're out of here. Yeah, save the introductions, but let's talk a shitload. <laughs> All right. Guys, gameplay. It's happening. <laughs> Uh, in, on a journey to find himself. All right. Heralded for a fighting prize. All right, so we got some pretty strong dudes, I guess. And we're gonna ba bash this guy's face in. Ooh, that's some pretty cool looking battle animation. Sword Hector, female Sword Hector. <laughs> uh, either way, the intelligence in this world is a bit rare to say the least. Uh, yeah, I guess. I do like how the music continues throughout uh, the battle screen. I kind of feel like constantly switching music was kind of an annoying thing in the original Fire Emblem. So there's that. Goraz knows more than he lets on. The Impaler. All right, that doesn't... Impaler doesn't scream reverse weapon triangle to me, but all right. Protects from projectiles. All right, sounds good. Who the fuck is this? Rock. Cruel and unforgiving. He's also slow as shit. Look at that six speed. Nicknamed the Iron Wall. All right, here we go. So. Uh, all right, so it's one of those fucking games, huh? Wait person has a name. I can talk to them? I didn't realize that, actually. You're not here to fight. We're not here to fight you. We saw you were trying to escape and well join up with you. Truth be told, working this is a nightmare. The pay is awful and we can't stand the generals. I see. Not to mention they're bound us in some twisted contract. We have to fight for them or else they'll accuse us of treachery. All right, flying soldiers. I can't say I've, I can't say I've ever seen your classes before, except for when you got captured. You know, uh, those two Griffin Riders. But I guess you know your your memory is just wiped from all the fighting you've been doing. What are your names? The name's Sharon, and my mate here is named Daz. Let's get out of here. Good. Follow my orders. All right. Yay. We got two people. Yay. Oh, well, I guess I'll just fuck you over with this bitch. For some context, Lawrence was the protagonist of my FE8 reskin, so he technically defeated the Demon King, etc., etc. That. All right. That. I would argue makes things even more confusing, to be honest. Oh, Iron Bow. All right, cool. This is interesting. That's yeah, a bit of a janky animation. Oh, shit, wind. I didn't even realize that shit. Hi. All right, so take care of that guy. Oh, whoa, okay. I see. In that case, we can't waste a moment. The time is now, my man. Understood. All right, well, good to know. Yo, this music is fucking jamming right now, though, I gotta say. Uh, whip out the hatchet. Uh, Plot Convenience made this for a contest after all. Oh, okay, so this is a contest thing, I see. Yeah. I honestly feel like you could have cut down on the cutscenes a bit. Remember the boss's orders? Yep, get to the north gate and shut it off with the keys. Good, so you were listening after all. Wait, which dudes are we talking about? Let's get going. Uh, it's probably these guys. All right, so I can't let them get to the north, I guess. But since they're directly in my path, I don't think that they're gonna be a real big threat. Wow, all right, I'll take that. Yeah, the music not changing for battles, I, I think is actually a pretty good idea. All right, so from the looks of it, my dudes have pretty decent defenses, so maybe I shouldn't be too worried about uh, bad defenses and shit. 
they all ha seem to have pretty good stats is what I'm getting at Chicken noodle soup is good for you Except it's not cause it is high in carbohydrates Hi, it's so high in carbohydrates Oh, Mark, what the fuck is wrong with you? I should probably actually not get hit I'm not thinking, that's the issue I'm not like thinking things through I'm probably gonna lose Pirate, Pirate Man here Pirate Man Lawrence Yeah, cause there's a there's like oh well there's that one night but he might miss so it might not be too bad if not then i'm gonna have to uh do a little reversey reversey come on dodge it dodge it dodge it dodge it you mother oh all right so i guess the knight just straight up doesn't move here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cock block these motherfuckers right here this music's getting me fucking fired up you know all right, so they're gonna be heading that way Yikes, all right, come on fuck them up Fuck these bad boys up K, K line Wh Whatever your name is I guess uh, Oh, oh shit Ho unholy creatures you will fall before me. All right. That's a lot of damage though. So uh, I might have to do something about that. Wow. That is some janky ass looking animations that does not look fluent at all That looks like really kind of Ooh. <laughs> Just kind of uh... <laughs> Alright, so that guy has a Lance Reaver Which means that I can fuck him up with axes Alright, so now I'm in a pretty good spot, I guess This is gonna be a bit of an issue And plus this wind fucker is gonna give me a bad day Yeah, because he doesn't have good resistance this is an in this is some interesting level design, I gotta admit. Um, it's challenging and such. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to smack him with the two Pegasus Riders and then like use the other two guys to hold the fort and then just intercept the, uh, the bad guys when the time is right. The only thing is that this person's gonna be a problem, I think. Yeah, cuz uh Sierra here might get f uh 18 no, 18 9 18 27 37 damage 37 damage so that's 29 damage so he can't actually survive this hit. All right, but if I do this I'm good cuz I don't think anybody else can attack K-line. So I think I'm safe from here. Criminals dude bitch. Do you have any idea what place is being run here? Why are you being all like oh, yeah, you guys are bad guys. Meanwhile, you're running like a slave arena <laughs> Yeah, hand axe that I don't need because hatchets are better usually I think I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to attack because if the, if this guy is weakened and then just like kills himself on somebody Then it's gonna open up another enemy to fuck us up Ow Ow, I do not like the damage that some of these enemies do it this um This hack is doing a pretty good job at making me feel uncomfortable Like I, I'm not really safe at any point, you know, so Yeah, I think uh, I think I should give Lawrence the hand axe eee, Dodge it and all right, so there's a knight there, but he doesn't move so good thing. I, I'm kind of glad I remembered that I have to be really careful about the archer I also have to heal uh, my my night chick. This is a safe move here. So long as I hit. Oh, you f it <laughs> really? You gonna you gonna do me like that, buddy? I think this is a good move. Please hit you fucking piece of shit. Don't miss, or else I'm gonna shit. On everybody Whatever the fuck that means Yes Please hit you fucker Okay good Alright so we managed to get out of that bad scenario This is Oh god Oh no that, that, that might double her Cause like these guys are super fast 
Okay, no, 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 okay. No doubling, thankfully. Uh oh, dodge it, dodge it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank God. Ah, oh, fuck! All right, well, there goes K-Line. All right, does that auto game over? Oh my God, are you kidding me, dude? It's one of those. These Apple phones just don't do it for me. And this map ties should be cut by three.